Panthers highlights are brought to you by the legend, Nottingham's number one family-friendly hockey club. A good evening and welcome along to Panthers TV Live. It's Challenge Cup quarter-final first leg action between the Nottingham Panthers and the Guildford Flames here at the Motor Point Arena. James Brandon alongside me, Dan Green, as usual, taking you through the action on this Tuesday evening. The starting sixes for both sides look like this. Kevin Carr minds the net for the Panthers with a defensive pairing of Brady Norris and Josh Tetlow. And then the three forwards out there, Matthew Tuzignon, Oli Betridge and Matthew Myers. Whilst for the visiting Flames, Kevin Linskoog is the net minder. Jake Bolton, Jamal Watson, the two defensemen and Jordan County, Ian Waters with John Dunbar, the starting forward line. The Flames have been here already this season, but since then have really fallen off the cliff with their form. Yeah, I think we've uh, we've I think we've beaten them both times here, and then it, obviously at the weekend we beat them there. Yeah, I think they um, they obviously started off really well. They took some big scouts, and they won in Sheffield, one in Cardiff. Started off hot, and they've just kind of been derailed a little bit the last few weeks um, but you know they obviously ran as close at the weekend on Saturday in Guildford and I'm sure they'll be looking for a good start here and to try and cause what will be a little bit of an upset. Ferguson can't get it out, Bayajian does well, now Richards holds possession for a second but can't find a teammate and now it will be brought forward only as far as Brassard though and the Panthers have got a bit of room here, Lane Goes one to the left and there may be a chance to cut it back in. There is, it's found its way in somehow. It may have come off the skates of Yule, but Sean Richards continues to make an impact. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, centralised turnover there by the Flames, kind of mishandled the puck and the Panthers get a four on two the other way. And like you say, nice play there by Lane to kick it wide. Richards tries to give it back and in off the skate, off the Flames defence. A nice play there, just goes to... Linskook does get a piece of it, can't stop it, just trickling through. Now here's Dunbar, chance for him to bring a man over and send a pass. There is Waters, a good save, and at the second attempt by Kevin Carr to keep out Ian Waters. Break here with Betridge and Kelsall, the other two going up. Oh, it's a big hit. It's a good hit though. Spencer Trap back down low. And now here is Watson, has his head up. He Goes to the far side instead. It might come here for Dunbar. It does. It's nice. It's awkward. And the high stick there from Ian Waters means that will not count. Yeah, I don't think that was ever going to count. But, you know, he tried his luck there. And, yeah, I think Kevin Carr knew straight away. Well above the crossbar there. Hopkins out there. Receives the pass from Tetlow, who then gives one to Watson. Watson still going. And a good pass back. Fry can't get anything on it. Almost worked out for him as the backhand went past the post. County and there's numbers here for Guildford. Man centrally is Waters. County holds on to it and the Panthers get bodies back. Matt Lane being one of them and then forces the Scott off the puck. Down low with Dunbar now on that far side. Looked right in front there for Waters. It's awkward and right behind Carl Matheson was there though doing the defensive work and the puck didn't cross the line. 15 and a half to go in the second. Lakovic. Back in front, now surely it will be, it is. Tristan Fry scores there and it's one each. Good pass back in front by Rob Lakovic. Now it'll be brought forward through Ferguson and Cable. Puts his head up and finds the pass. There is another man over. Nice move by McNulty and it's an excellent goal. And it's probably nothing less than Guildford deserve. One, two. A couple of guys like that, but you know, I, I wouldn't have really had McNulty on the radar to have you know, 14 or 13, now 14 goals in the season. So he's been a bit of a, a gem of a find. Bayesian, he's also been one. 12 now for the season for him. Gets it back off the block and fires it into the top corner. Two each. Yeah, and Bayesian's hot. He had two against the Flames on Saturday. And he obviously likes playing against, against them. He gets one here again. A little bit of luck there. A little bounce off of Watson's skate and it just comes back to him. And, he rips that one straight away. Nothing Watson can do there. Just hits him and falls straight back to him. And he fires that one high glove. Back as far as the number 42. Now bags of room on that left-hand side. There's plenty of bodies in front. Couple go flying onto the deck. Dunbar, we've got a penalty coming as Linskoog is pulled. Dunbar sends the pass and Watson is still on the oh, floor. Great save. save by Carr. Panthers will... 
try and end the period the stronger as it was Guildford that did it last time. Richard's second attempt, he's got another one. He's on fire at the moment, he's Sean Richards and it's 3-2. Yeah, we've said how well he's been playing lately. He gets the opening goal of the game tonight. And then again here, just battling away. Great play by Bargeron down the wing. Here he just throws that in front of Richards. One shot, just wins his battle with the defenseman and pokes that one in. So two on the night for him and a lead now for the Panthers. Bolton thrown towards the net and it goes all the way through for Carr. Holds on to the second as there were four or five bodies in front of him with 16.34 to go in this the first leg. Here's Boivin, shoots that rebound there on the backhand and it was awkward for Myers, not able to get the right direction on it. Panthers with a couple of chances inside the first 30 seconds. Myers and McNulty on this face-off here. That's Norrish. Matthew Myers does, does such a good job there. You see they literally bring him on just to take that face off. You know, he's, he's so good, especially defensive zone. He'll go on, win that draw, and then he'll go back off and get Bayager on. Betrid shoots it, and there he is. Robbie Bayagian. The face-off was won by Myers, and the goal was scored by the man who came on for him. It's 4-2. Yeah, and he is on fire at the moment. Everything he touches, and you know, that's such a big turning point in this tie. That gives the Panthers such a big, you know, if, if it stays like this, going into the second leg, such a big cushion. The difference between one goal and two goals is huge. Ferguson, far side. Doesn't get the pass off, but works out for him. Gets it back, does Ferguson. Blocked, it's up. It's awkward. It's very oh. awkward. And bouncing in front there was Kevin Carr. I think he just plonked his body there to stop that from going in. Lock. And that should do us as... Tetlow gets in possession of it, chips it forwards. And at the halfway point of this Challenge Cup quarter final, thanks to a brace each from Sean Richards and Robbie Bayagian, will take a two goal lead down to Surrey.